All right, let's see what else we can find. Ooh, that looks interesting. I wonder if that's who it is. Hello and welcome to another episode of Stranded Deep. My name's Botch, and uh, we have just arrived at a new island. This is a, a player-made island that was set up uh, in the far north of the map. We arrived uh, late last night, and I went ahead and set up a little little camp here to save our progress. We've got our snake here, and got some uh, kindling and some extra wood. I'll just set up in a in a pile here. Go. So we don't have to carry around all this wood. Um, we are well fed and ready to start our adventure. So let's have a look around. So it looks like right away we can see some, some signs of life, at least some previous life. Uh, maybe a lean-to or something here. Um, and some uh, additional debris, but unfortunately this, this poor fellow has long since passed. Um, it would be kind of cool if there were like you know natives or somebody to, to kind of contend with other than just like you know pigs and, and stuff but ooh, a brick scrap that's neat i'm gonna take that because we don't have any bricks um in fact i'm pretty sure the um i think this is clay right here nice yes we needed this i was kind of concerned about that because the uh still uh, that we're going to make for the fuel is going to require um, some clay and I built I, I did make a uh, pickaxe refined pickaxe um, but I wasn't quite sure um, you know like well I mean I know where the clay is it's it's down in the water there but then you got to deal with the sharks and this just makes things a little easier we just set all that stuff right there since we're, we're right here anyways all right, let's keep looking around. We gotta be careful because we don't know what else is around. We don't know if there's any snakes or or uh, enemy pigs, things like that. We're just gonna take a quick peek around over here. So let's see here. I also can't see the bottom there, so I do want to go in there, um, but I'm gonna stay on the outside first. And then we'll go in there a little bit later, especially when I can see a little better. Because that's another thing I don't want to do is accidentally step on um, some poison and uh, not be able to cure it. So that would be uh, that would be problematic. Uh, here's some planks. I mean, you know, um, we'll we'll go around. Uh, I'll go around picking stuff up later. I'm not too concerned about picking up every little thing just because that will take a lot and we'll be going there back and forth a lot so we really just want to check out the island itself and see what's here. I will be picking up some things, the, the most valuable things that I don't want to lose track of I'll probably go ahead and, and pick up and, and that would be things like uh, rations or water or you know, something like that. Mm. But yeah, pretty cool so far. I really like the uh, the way this is done. I am definitely going to have to take um, a little time and see just what it takes to make my own. Oh, that's cool. Like, there's a a crab. Is it is it hostile and it just can't get to me? It's it's not a big crab. There, this one's here. We go. So let's see here. Ah, hey, giant crab, huh? Little junior uh, giant crab. Uh, let's see if I can kill it. Ah, uh, uh, oh, he's uh, good. Wow. Okay. So they are hostile. Let's see, he got me real. Well, only two. That's not so bad. Um, they are hostile. So as long as I stay over here, we should be okay. But we're gonna have to get over there for that boat. Um, I'm just gonna bring this back for food later. I think if I don't skin it, it'll be okay. All right. But yeah, there's some shipwreck I definitely want to explore. This is going to be more than a couple days worth of uh, exploration, I'm sure. 
All right, so we'll just hook that. So now we have uh, some crab and uh, that snake still to, to eat. So plenty to eat. Water is going to be a concern um, just because uh, I didn't bring anything to build like a still. And I've already drank, drank the, the three uh, water that I had uh, to kind of refresh in the morning. So um, it's a concern, but we've got rations and rations give uh, hydration as well. So it's not a, not a huge concern really. This is beautiful. Uh, oh, what the hell? Uh, I can't even see the little bastard. Here. Okay, we gotta, we gotta get clear of this thing. Alright, you still on me? You are. Come on, bad boy. That's right. <laughs> He's after me. Oh boy. Last thing I want to do is get caught by this pig. We gotta get clear of it all the way. Let's get on this raft. There we go. Ooh, let's see. Oh yeah, that was that was bad. All right, let's see if we can kill him from here. Got him. All right, that's four. <laughs> He's just walking around. Oh, missed that one. Missed that one. Oh, you're going to sit still for me. Thank you. I do appreciate it. All right. Yeah, that was uh, that was close because uh, he got a hold of me pretty good there. And uh, got me, you know, got me down quite a bit on health. Let's go ahead and put this over here with the others but we're gonna have to be a little more cautious because i never even saw the guy coming and um and he got me so be a little bit more cautious especially because in fact let's do this let's save just in case because i do want to keep going i don't want to burn daylight um this here oh <sighs> Yeah, I thought that it was a little friendly pig. That's the thing that's kind of throwing me off. So here's a tiny little pig, right? Um, it seems like the the creatures on this island are smaller than normal, which threw me off. We didn't know if the these tiny little crabs were hostile. And it says giant crab, and I was like, that's cute. Uh, but then the, the pig came out of nowhere and uh, was hostile. We're healing up, but man, if, I, if anything attacks me, I'm running. All right, let's go. Out, let's see, there's a pig right there that looks big enough to attack me. So I am concerned about that. He's also moving slowly. He's not like one of those smaller pigs that uh, kind of take their time. Oh, I don't want to get killed. I mean, you know what? We saved. So worst case scenario, we'll know where he's at. Um, I also want him to attack first so I know he's hostile. You can get him caught on that tree. He's so much bigger than that little, he's a little baby pig. That's so cute. And he's not attacking, so. You know, got this cool rock formation. This is awesome. So he's not attacking, so I'm going to leave him be. Yeah, he's running off. Okay. I'm cool with that. Definitely staying off the island with the, the, um, giant pigs oh we have some uh kawawa fruit that's not spoiled so that's cool um that can also give us some hydration i think so that's good to know here's some buoys some rocks we'll have to come over and break these rocks down a little bit later uh all right cool this is really just such a beautiful island. I think I was trying to say before I got distracted that I really do want to take a stab at making an island at some point. But I don't know. I don't even know how. Like, I have no idea 
what it takes or what goes into that. So that'll be for another day. Little piglets are cute, though. All right, let's see what else we can find. Ooh, that looks interesting. I wonder if that's who it is. Neat. This is cool. I'm glad I brought a pickaxe. Let's see what we got in here. There's a snake. So we gotta be careful of that. Oh. Yeah, I know you're there, buddy. When he puts his hand up like that, I can't see the damn thing. Alright. Cool. I'm gonna leave him there for now rocks there could be more in here so we gotta be careful I don't want to get too far in oh nice okay wood container and this guy and a lashing I don't really need the lashing but that's kind of cool this is neat and then see there's another rock there um, I'm hesitant to go I like I want to explore the outside first and then we can uh, take a look on the inside. So we'll keep going a little bit um, deeper into that. So we got some barrels. This is good because um, we can take one of these barrels and maybe make a hobo stove out of it. Because I, I built a, um, a small um, fire. But I didn't want to use a bunch of rocks. Oh, hello. Where's he at? Where are you, little snake? I hear you. Oh, there he is. I see him. Oh, shit. No, no, no. No, you ah. don't, big boy. Can't climb rocks, can you? Ha, ha, ha. There you go. Down you go. Now, I was about to just double tap that snake when the stupid pig came out of nowhere. So now we got to find the stupid snake. He should have a spear sticking out of him, so he shouldn't be that hard to find. Ah, oh, where'd you go, boy? Hmm. Well, we'll be careful. But let's get some of these spears back from our pig friend. I have a luau tonight. Jeez, lots of food. How's it already got flies? Alright. Yeah, that snake is around here somewhere. I just know it. So I'm trying to take it slow. I'm trying to be quiet without just not saying anything, you know. But it must have ran off. Do snakes run? There's a snake. They scurry, I guess. And that's another big pig, but it doesn't seem to be hostile. So here's another camp. Oh, and a refined spear. That's cool. Is this thing hostile or not? I think he's just ornery. Let's see what we got here. Should take the whole thing. So that's really, really cool looking. And we have a boat with some more barrels on it. Looks like they just kind of right into that rock. Let's see what we got on the boat. Nothing in there. I'll take the cloth, but we don't really need anything else. Definitely don't want any more barrels right now. Anything up top? Nope. Okay. Whoa, I'm headless. Okay. Cool. Um, not going to bother with a snake or any, anything like that. 
right now. How are we doing on stats? Eh, not too bad. We're healing up. Luckily for me, that rock was there because I was a little worried I wasn't going to be able to make it back. Ooh, potatoes. Nice. Okay, so that might be coming back with us. There's a lot of potatoes right here. On the other hand, um, I don't want to bring them back prematurely because we don't have a uh, farm plot. So maybe I'll leave them there for now. Knowing that they're there helps. So let's see. Take that out, that out, that. And, oops. Try off these parts. Just gotta empty this stuff out. And then carry more. There we go, a little uh, consolidation. So I think I'm going to take the opportunity to go ahead and explore this shipwreck as well because a lot of times when the the ocean's going nuts like this, even though it's a little harder uh, to see, uh, there's also not uh, any sharks about a lot of times, not all the time. Uh, let's see here, so I'm going to just Hope for the best and get on board and see what we can find. So that's that's cool. Take that. I like that. All right. Anything up the top? Front. All right. Good. good. I need to consolidate again. This island's pretty big, so I don't know how far along we are if like, we're ready to circle back soon or not. Let's see, we're so I can go here. I guess we can stow a tool. We really just needed a spear. Um, we just want to put like things with like things and it maximizes capacity. Alright, so there we go. Let's move along. It's getting pretty dark out, so hopefully we can get back to uh, camp before it gets too dark. I did have, I do have a flashlight. Uh, the worst case scenario. But let's see if we can make it back at some time. It's, so it's 5 o'clock in the evening. We should have a few more hours of daylight left. Take this cloth over here while we have it. I think what I'm most worried about is with the storm uh, not being able to hear uh, like a snake or something like that. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of little goodies. Um, I'm really interested in scoping out the interior of that. Oh, yeah, let's see that pig out there. Uh, the interior of that uh, cave. There's our boat ahead. So not too far out. And we have some planks here uh, that I'll be picking up on my next go around and see if we can't make some empty uh, containers. I think we can do that. Alright, so we're back to camp. And it is getting awfully dark. We got back in just in time. So that, that worked out really well. So, um, I'm going to uh, 
go ahead and light this fire. Oh, <laughs> that scared me. I saw movement just there, and I was like, oh, okay. Um, fire lit. Drop our boxes down. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and put them straight up on the boat as well. Yes, those, those, those back three or four are filled, right? Yeah, four, those four are filled. So, yeah. Okay. And one of these had uh, cloth in it. Tools. We can't. We mustn't forget where our tools are. But I think I'm gonna do. I'll just take those back out and put them over here. So do not want to forget where these are. Well, we're gonna keep this on us because we're gonna need to make our way into the interior. Of course, we need our knife now for the the meal. So I'm pretty sure if you just have the fire and nothing else, you have to just kind of hold it in place and it'll cook. I, I let it go. It's just kind of spinning, but see how it's, it's going to eventually fall off. Yeah, and see, you can hear it, the sizzle stop. You just have to hold it and uh, it'll eventually ding and you can eat it. It'll say, you know, cooked. Um, I might bring one of those uh, barrels back and see what it takes to make a hobo stove just so I don't sit there and hold this. Um, let me see if I can get it to balance. It sure doesn't want to, but it's sitting there for now, so that's good. Um, let's see here. Oops. Crafting. Um, hobo stove. Yeah, we'd still have to make the, uh, the fire pit, so we'd still have to put rocks around this put the hobo stove on top, but I think that's still worth it. Um, there's going to be enough rocks. We only need uh, three rocks. So we already have the fire pit, so I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, rocks, rocks, rocks. I know I saw a few of them around here. I don't know if we have three. There's one there. One there. I don't know if we have three. And I don't want to get too far away from the fire just because I'm not sure if it'll be too dark. I just need one more rock. Because I could have brought the flashlight. It's not too bad out as far as lighting is concerned. And I'm not as worried about being attacked anymore since we've made the first circle around but I'm sure I'm not seeing any rocks right away so I'm just gonna head back. We'll work on that next. How's that going? That's cooked. Okay. Food is not an issue. Water is a bigger issue. Um I think what I'm going to do, yeah, let's see, there should be a pump, yeah, this is why we need our axe. There we go. I'll just go ahead and set this over here for now, too. There we go. Okay, so that's not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and uh, sleep and uh, save the game and we'll continue on okay save it so let's see here it's still early morning we do need uh, a little bit more you know water and food because as you sleep um, you lose some of that hydration and, and food um, which makes sense. 
So we're going to take a ration and just eat that. And you can hear when that beep goes off, you, you know you're doing pretty good on those stats. All right, still pretty dark out. If I had left the fire burning, it would have uh, burnt out anyways. It would have just been a waste of, of uh, wood. So I chose not to do that. But it's a little dark yet. Um, I think I have a flashlight. I could bring that. I just don't want to... Uh, flashlight at. Oh, you know what? Um, let's take those. Put them here. Flashlight. That helps a little bit. Alright. So like I said, I'm going to drop the knife and the axe because I just don't think we're going to need it. Um, so we have plenty of spears, we have the flashlight, I don't want to carry the flashlight around, I'm really just carrying, keeping it on so that you can see something, I don't want to just have a black screen. Um, let's see, oh yeah, sun's coming up, so it, it won't be more than a few minutes. Before we end the episode, what I want to do is go and check out that cave and see what's there. Um, but I'm just waiting for the sun to come up. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring the flashlight because uh, it could get dark in there. So I, I really don't know, but just in case, hopefully it's not, uh, you know, too bad as far as um, lighting is concerned. Um, and, uh, we don't have to carry you back too much, but I can always make multiple trips. So that's why I'm just like, well, let's just go see what's, what's what now the lights coming up. Um, the other thing we haven't done yet, but we probably won't have time this episode is I know that there's a shipwreck on the other side of that, uh, that island over there. You can see it kind of jutting out right there. Um, but in order to get to it, well, let's see. Can we, if we can get past without alerting the crabs, um, but I don't know, I don't know if those crabs are, eh, hell with it. Well, let's just do it. I'm just going to run past them. All right. They following me? No. Okay, good. Okay, so how do we get up here? There must be a way up there because there's barrels up there. So let's just see what we can find out. Hopefully we don't need a shark on the way there. Alright, so the back end's open. There's some tires that we don't really need. Okay. The air tanks are always good. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the... Uh, That'll take, though. Okay. All right, so not a whole lot here. Um, can we get up top here? We can. But just more tires. It doesn't look like... Oh, there, there might be a container back there. Let me see. There is. Cool. Let's see what we got in here. I'm going to take this stuff out and drop this. And then put this stuff back in. And take that. Okay, that's better. Very cool. Alright, uh, let's see. I want to be careful getting down here. There we go. Just don't want to hurt myself. Oh, there's another crate that we just passed up and a coconut flask and rations. That's awesome we got here some more of these so I'm just going to drop that take that awesome, awesome okay so once again we need to sprint past so this crab wants me but he can't get me as long as I don't step on a purple thing we should be in the clear yeah we're good okay I want to see if there's anything 
I don't think there's anything on the other side. We could also do a circle around the island um, on the raft to see if there's anything that maybe we can't see from from on land. Um, so, uh, but I'll, I'll do that towards the, uh, not the end of this video, but before we leave the, the island. Okay. So we're back to our little cave area. Which I think what's going to do, you remember before I saw that there was a, um, a passage that I said I wanted to go into, but not right away. And I suspect this might lead there, but we'll see. I'm going to take one of these rocks, because we need one of these rocks. Uh, better come armed just in case I don't hear anything yeah, yeah that's exactly what that was see so we we came through here and you'll see that uh, on the other side of this is gonna be our camp we're pretty close to it yep right there so that's great. Okay, so now at least we know what's there. Let's go ahead and drop this stuff off. Just gotta throw these uh, containers right there on the boat. So I'll we'll just put it right here. That's good. Uh, let's see here. We can drop this. In fact, let's go ahead and make our uh, fire pit while I'm thinking of it. I think we need to move that uh, candle in first. There we go. Great. And so I'll drag back a uh, uh, a barrel and then make a stove out of it. That'll make it easier to cook. All right, cool. So um, I, you know, I don't want to to spend the rest of the time just dragging stuff back and forth. So I'm going to do that that kind of work offline. Uh, if you like the video and you want to see more content just like this, don't forget to click the like button down below. Um, if you haven't already done so, now is the time to subscribe. You can get more content just like this in the future. And uh, thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.